click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, with the help of vertical balance sheet, how we can prepare trend balance sheet which is useful for financial analysis that we are going to understand from this question. Let us read the question. Messrs. Anuraj Limited carrying on business furnish their position as on 31st March 2012, 2013 and 2014. Balance sheet as at 31st March. Assets, fixed assets, investments, current assets. Liabilities, share capital, debentures and liabilities for expenses. Prepare trend balance sheet in vertical form. Fixed assets, it will be part of application of funds. Investments, long term investments. Current assets. From this we have to deduct current liabilities. From this we are required to deduct current liabilities. Share capital shareholders fund, debentures borrowed fund, liabilities for expenses, current liabilities. Messrs. Anuraj Limited, trend analysis of balance sheet in vertical format. Here we are required to make columns for each year for absolute amounts as well as for trend percentage. So there are three years and there are three columns for trends also. We have to first arrange balance sheet in vertical format. The first part of the vertical balance sheet sources of funds. First shareholders fund. There is only one item that is share capital. Share capital 33,000, 31,350 and 41,000. Next we have borrowed funds. There we have debentures 27,000, 28,350, 9,500. We can calculate capital employed by adding shareholders fund and borrowed fund. Capital employed 60,000, 59,700, 50,500. Second part of balance sheet application of funds. There first we have fixed assets 30,000. 25,500, 43,800. Next we have investments, 13,000, 13,000, 18,400. Next we have working capital, that is current asset minus current liabilities. Current asset we have 27,000, 33,200, 18,900. Current liabilities, liabilities for expenses, 10,000, 12,000, 30,600. From current assets, we are required to deduct current liabilities. Here, in case of 2012, net working capital is 17,000, 2013, 21, 200. In 2014, we got negative working capital 11,700. Now we can add fixed asset investment and working capital to arrive at total assets. So, total capital employed 60,000, total assets 60,000. 59,700, 59,700, 50,500, 50,500. So vertical balance sheet is tally. Now we can prepare trend part of solution. Here the base year is 2012. So accordingly when we are putting the values in trend part, percentage part for the 2012 as it is a base year we have to take it as a hundred. So share capital, it will be hundred. Debentures, borrowed funds, hundred. Total capital employed, hundred. Fixed assets, hundred. Investments, 100 current assets 
हंड्रेड करंट लायबिलिटीज हंड्रेड नेट वर्किंग कैपिटल हंड्रेड टोटल एसेट्स हंड्रेड सो इन बेस इयर एवरी फिगर वी आर रिक्वायर टू टेक एज वॉट हंड्रेड नाउ फॉर गेटिंग द वैल्यूज फॉर टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन फॉर्म्यूला इज वी हैव टू सिलेक्ट एब्सोल्यूट अमाउंट इन कॉलम ऑफ टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन डिवाइडेड बाय बेस अमाउंट इन कॉलम नंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हंड्रेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल शेयर कैपिटल फॉर टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन इट इज थर्टी वन थाउजेंड थ्री फिफ्टी we have to divide this by 33000 and multiplied by 100 let us find out some values using the formula share capital base year 33000 2013 that is current year 31350 current year 31350 base year capital 33000 multiplied by 100 it is 95% in 2014 that is current year share capital has become 41000 current year 41000 base year 33000 multiplied by 100 it is 124.24% share capital base 100 2013 we have calculated 95 percent now let us do this for debentures base 27000 2013 absolute 28350 In two thousand fourteen, it is nine thousand five hundred. In two thousand thirteen, it will be hundred and five percent. In two thousand fourteen, thirty five point one nine percent. Base year it is hundred. Two thousand thirteen, it will be hundred and five. Two thousand fourteen. Thirty-five point one nine percent. Now we can find out for capital employed in the same way. Base sixty thousand. Two thousand thirteen fifty-nine seven hundred. Two thousand fourteen fifty thousand five hundred. Capital employed for two thousand thirteen ninety-nine point five percent, and for two thousand fourteen eighty-four point seventeen percent. Let us continue for application of funds. Here we have fixed asset base year thirty thousand, two thousand thirteen twenty five thousand five hundred, two thousand fourteen forty three thousand eight hundred, two thousand thirteen eighty five percent, two thousand fourteen hundred and forty six percent. Let us continue for investments. For two thousand thirteen, it is same thirteen thousand. So here it will have hundred. For two thousand fourteen, it is hundred and forty one point. Five four percent. Let us continue for current assets. One twenty two point nine six percent, seventy percent. For current liabilities now, hundred and twenty, three hundred and six percent. Let us calculate for working capital, one twenty four point seven zero, sixty eight point eight two percent. now in case of total assets it will be same like of capital employed so it will be here 99.5 and here 84.17 thus in this question we have understood how to prepare vertical trend balance sheet based on horizontal balance sheet or normal balance sheet given in the question thanks for watching this video stay in tune with ikeda 
एंड सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल ही किडा थैंक यू